My favorite food in the world is hot dogs. And I'll tell you what, hot dogs, they taste good. They're easy. What I don't like about Chinese food is that you got to chase it all over the plate. A hot dog, they give you a bun. They put the whole meal in the bun. My favorite hot dog is a Gold Coast hot dog. Now, the only place I never eat a hot dog is at home. A uh, hot dog is public food. A hot dog is what you eat among the masses, among your buddies. The beach. Exactly. In a ball game. You never just go out for one hot dog either, and you never just go by yourself. You go with a couple people. The hot dog is a celebration. A social event. Exactly. You want, let's get a hot dog. Come on. Mustard, relish, onions, tomatoes, a little bit of celery salt, and that's a perfect dog. Yes, ma'am. I'll have mine the same way. You can, you can tell a lot about human beings by what they put on a hot dog. That's true. You can tell a real pervert when they put ketchup on a hot dog. Nobody puts ketchup on a hot dog. That's a sin. That is a mortal sin to put ketchup on a hot dog. You can tell a lot, a, a lot about people by how they serve a hot dog as well. Gold Coast, everybody's thrilled to death to serve hot dogs. Look at that. Look at that grill. Yes, my little wieners, come to me. <laughs> but look at that. All your major food groups are in there. You got your meat, you got your vegetables. Got your carbohydrate from the bread. Yeah, I didn't get cheese today, so we didn't have that the nutritional benefits of cheddar cheese. But uh, anybody who says hot dogs aren't nutritional is, is lying to you. The man who owns this hot dog stand, his life was saved by the hot dog. This is a case of the hot dog redeeming one's existence. Kind of briefly, your story was you were a commodities trader, and then the market bottomed out, and then what happened? Right, it was mid to late 70s, and I uh -huh. uh, went broke like in 80, 81, and uh, I was absolutely destitute. And I, uh, besides blowing all of my own money, I, you know, the story is I blew my parents' money. They had given me all their retirement money to invest wisely, and uh, I, they went bankrupt also. I wouldn't have wanted to be you around the holiday dinner time. <laughs> No, sometimes I would go to my parents' house for dinner. We would eat in dead silence. Do you know how loud dead silence is yeah, when you've ruined yeah, your parents' yeah. life? It was so loud I couldn't stand it. <laughs> yeah. And um, so they went back to work full-time in their 60s, and I was bouncing around doing basically nothing. I was trying to sell uh, real, retail, real estate, retail real estate in the recession. I was making about $80 a week in commissions. Oh, boy. And then I came up with, with this idea for fast food hot dogs. And years and years ago, I once asked someone for some business advice. And they told me, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't go around and try to convince people to eat with a one-pronged fork. It's too hard. Take a regular fork, make it better or cheaper or both, and then people will buy it. Because you know that people use forks. So I picked hot dogs, but I wanted to separate from the herd. There's 3,500 hot dog places in Chicago. So I decided to elevate the hot dog to like a gourmet status and to give real good service and make it fun to come in. Now, Barry, what's with the salads? You know, I was in line and some woman behind me was going, I can't eat hot dogs. They put all kinds of creepy things in them. It makes me sick. So, I, I'm getting a salad. I recommend that. You're getting a salad at a hot dog place? <laughs> yes. They're really good. They're good salads. Oh, they broke my heart. Yeah, right. I, want, I try to stay as a, a traditionalist as long as I could, but, you know, the trend is they're, half of the people health love food. the hot, and the other, the other half is the health food and eating lighter and healthier. So you got them coming and going. Got it coming right. and going. But when I did go that way, like with the tuna salad, I used whitey albacore tuna. You know, not the, 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 the light or the dark. No, no. The white albacore tuna. And for the chicken, it's not frozen, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So when I did go a little bit healthy, I went the best I could. If you had one food you had to live on your whole life, what would it be? Hot dogs. Hot dogs, what else? Exactly. Hot dogs. Is there ever any doubt? Right. <laughs>